Good morning gamers, welcome to yet another video. As you can see, we are in the Tombs of a Masket raid lobby. So we will be doing a raid run with commentary. And uh, let's just not waste any time here. About to drink my potions and I'm going to run in. Um, so the invocation level we're going to do is 150 with the following invocations. We got softcore run, so three attempts total. Uh, likely larvae, it's basically free. Um, the mud invocation, which doesn't do anything when you're soloing. Uh, the aerial assault one, which makes the main attack of the boss a 3x3 three three grid instead of a single tile. And for Zebok, we have you know, it gives him the blood spells with these two, and that's all for him because I don't like this one very much. Um, for Akka, we just have this feeling special one because it has a lot of points that we get. We get 20 points for this one, whereas the other modifiers are not very fun to do right now. I'll have to, you have to learn these probably. Um, for the monkey, we got the lethal fall on mind the gap gotta have faith which pretty much doesn't do anything uh, no jungle japes shaking things up you know it doesn't really matter probably not getting hit by that and uh, no boulder dash because I don't think I've practiced this even on my main account but there might be one I need to add soon ancient haste for the wardens just take like I think one or two more attacks from the unblockable damage which is whatever it's another brew dose that you need to eat uh, oh and overclocked one and two for another 20 points I have not messed with insanity except for like one or two practice runs and I died both times doing this so I, I will pretend like it's on for for this run but the pressure of it, of it actually being on is too much right now. So, anyways, let's just get right into it. We will be doing Kefri first. As you can see, I had to remind myself. And then we'll do the Crocodile, Akka, and then Baba. So, this room is basically just a puzzle which is solved by the various plugins that were made for it but if you still want to do it normally you know go for it I don't have time for that Should have brought a stamina potion so I could at least run through this a little faster. We gotta be walking now, that's unfortunate. I'm not gonna get the world record. One twenty. Uh it was not fast enough for perfect Scabaras, unfortunately, guys. Uh tune in next week and I'll get that one. Uh so for this boss, you can see here my instructions, keep moving. So you just go on in. Wait till he does his first launch of the projectile so the bone dagger can hit him, and uh, of course it didn't hit him, but if you ever killed Vorkoth, it's the same thing. You just don't get hit by the big AoE that he produces, and then he'll knock you back with, this, with dung, and you just gotta make sure you don't trap yourself in the arena to where you can't move, or else you will die. 
but yeah, pretty pretty easy boss to do first. Especially with um, the Fang here. So when this guy spawns, you'll want to put on ranged prey and just go and click him. And be sure to watch out for the this guy. I couldn't examine him in time, but he also does the 3x3 three three attack, and you will take heaps of damage if you don't dodge that. This guy. Oh, you can't even examine it. It just comes in and blows up. But yeah, he'll heal up after, you know, a certain amount of time and go back into shooting you with fireball attack. And you just repeat this, I think, for two more times or so. And you'll be on your way. Nothing to it. And then here comes the dung. For the next dung special attack, I'm going to be standing in this tile here. Um, that way I can make it go towards the corner. Oh, never mind, maybe I just got done with that too fast. Never happened before. But yeah, this phase with the the mage minion can do like 400 million damage, so you want to kill that one first. And then you can kill this one, which is melee. Couple, couple quick pokes and take care of them. And that's all for the spawns, unless you have the invocation on that. It spawns more minions, but not going to use that one as of now. Hopefully I don't need to use any more food in this room. This is ideally like a two prayer pot room, like at worst. Which is why we do it first, because you get a full heal off of each boss dying. So it's good to do this one early and get it out of the way. But I might need to eat here. A little scared, so I'm going to eat. Yeah, I think I would have died if I was in that, but no matter. Take him out with ease, and we move on. Only two manta rays eaten and two prayer doses used, so definitely looking good on the supplies here. I, I probably overkill bring supplies, but that's fine. Uh, this room, you just got to collect water from these various waterfalls on the outside and put it into this palm tree but there are some really sweaty advanced tactics to doing this um, I don't know any of them so don't ask about them just know that they exist that was a pretty clean movement if I do say so myself uh, once you fill the thing up one time you'll have this crocodile spawn and he will eat the water so do not let him get to the water at all oh my he took a chomp out of there so unfortunately we will not be getting world record that's quite all right i'll just take a lot of damage for free so i can get another 100 deposit here because this this pattern on this side is very solved where you can just click once and you're good the other ones are kind of off in their timing, so you can't do the same one-click movement like I just did there. It's kind of like doing the sepulcher, if you think about it, but a lot more forgiving because you can get hit. So for this room, it's entirely ranged, except for the first 
attack I like to do with the dagger. Maybe get a little defense lowering. Very nice. And just click him. Uh, this attack is a magic attack. Little circle, like canister looking thing. And this one, the big, like, piece of rock is ranged. And he will do, um, he will do a random attack each time. And you'll want to be behind these boulders when he does this attack here. Or else you'll get hit by like, fi not 50s, but you'll get hit by a lot of damage and it's not very nice. Luckily, I don't get hit by that. So we're chilling. Yeah, even though I don't have the Bofa yet, this damage is kind of ridiculous. Even though it is not upgraded in terms of the like the path level on the boss, but can only imagine the destruction when you have the full crystal armor and uh, 99 ranged, all that good stuff. Rigor. Augury for later. This is a pretty good pattern. You can just push it into the rock and then it'll, it'll just blow up automatically. Sometimes you get really unfortunate patterns like the jug positioning, but I don't think I've ever in recent memory gotten one that actually should have killed me. But yeah, um, he kind of speeds up his attack once he gets to a certain threshold, which is right now, but that doesn't really change much since you don't take any damage if you pray right. And you want to watch out for these, these blood clouds because they will attack you and heal him and then extend the fight a little too long. Again, this is basically a zero supply room if you can't DPS him fast enough and you don't you know, take too many damage from mistakes. Just gonna do another attack and he's out. So very nice, he's only I think one Manta because I messed up in the crocodile room but then you get after you kill two bosses in the raid you get the the spirit which will bring you supply bundles so you have life which is a bunch of healing items uh, the nectar heals you like a serotonin brew so for me I think it heals like 20 or 21 uh, hit points the tears is just like a super restore so it regenerates all your stats and your prayer Ambrosia is really broken. It heals your entire health bar, entire prayer bar, and it like overheals you for, I think, 30 points. So I would, if I clicked on one of these, I'd be 120 health or something like that. Very good. Um, and silk dressing, this gradually heals your uh, health, and this gradually heals your prayer. So if you ever need to like learn the raid, just pick this one and practice it by using the raid supplies basically because these these can probably I can probably click this and then you know finish the rest of it just on healing alone by brute force lets you make a lot of mistakes um, in terms of what I'm gonna take I usually take chaos here because I need the boost from smelling salts these are basically like an overload potion from the uh, Chambers of Zeric raid. So it just boosts all your stats by, I'm not really sure how much exactly, I think 25 or something, if you're if you're at 99. But it's very good to get these, especially for the next two encounters and then the final boss. Usually I'll take Chaos and then for the last final boss you'll take Power for the Liquid Adrenaline, which you'll see later, but this basically gives you a lot of special attacks because it reduces your total cost of them. So we're going to go ahead and take Chaos for now and head on into Path of Het which is Akka. This boss gave me quite 
a large amount of trouble when I was learning this. It's probably the hardest fight in the in this entire raid. Even harder than the the actual final boss, but once you once you get it down and you get the you know the flow of things, it doesn't it doesn't really give me trouble anymore. It just just comes with learning it and being being dead a few times that'll that'll get you. So for this room it's pretty simple. You want to just make the make this beam of light here go to the shielded statue and that's it. And then you have to mine this in the middle. So the raid has like these puzzle rooms in the middle of the encounters that you have to do. So we're going to do that, place it here, and then we're going to go chop down the wall here, and get ready to mine it. And this depends on your mining level. Um, I'm 82 right now, so I don't think I can... I definitely can't one-cycle it, but I can sometimes two-cycle it if I'm really lucky with the damage, so I think I might need a little bit more mining levels in order to do that. Or also a dragon pickaxe would help, but I don't have that because I'm very unlucky. Not that I've ever tried to get one though, but you know. So for this puzzle, I'm just going to do the same thing. If you've ever done Morning's End, then you'll, you'll recognize you know, what you have to do here. Just a lot of puzzles, basically. And if you get hit by this beam, you do take like 14 damage, so best you don't get hit by that, or else you'll feel like a really foolish player. So we're going to go ahead and get this frame perfect. I think this might be a 2 cycle. I think my max hit is 10. I should probably bring a, bring a Dwarven Stout. If I don't get this too, so I'm going to be so mad. Nice. Huge. Alright. Put my pickaxe back. And go grab my fish. Probably going to take out this. Some salts. And a pro tip, I'll, I'll, I'll let you in on a secret. You can put the salts back in the supplies bag if you have already taken them out of it. Same goes for every other supply item that the raid gives you. So I can put back all these if I need to make some room for something. Just a little free tip. Uh, so for this boss you're going to want to start on magic. And we're going to do salts. Put them back. I'll take out a singular brew and a singular restore. That should be enough. So this boss is very mechanically different than the other so far at least. He has three different attack styles that he switches from as well as two protection prayers above his head as you can see which is as you know complete immunity to whatever style that is. And this one right now is, is magic, so the only thing I can attack him with right now is magic. And the way it works is he does like seven attacks on me, and then he'll switch styles. So I just gotta basically kite him around until these statue things spawn, and then I can just start meleeing them. Because melee is my strongest style, but I can't hit him with melee unless he switches his style. And uh, once these statues charge up over here, there's a big yellow bar. Oh, we got a mechanic here. So this is a memory game. You gotta dodge the other tiles that the memory game is currently showing. So if you stand anywhere but the place the light is, then you'll take 500 billion damage. Well, this boss isn't too bad, 
with all my upgrades, actually. I could probably make it harder. But the way he changes his combat style is left every time. So if you start, you start melee, when he does his change, it's going to be ranged. He changes again, and it's going to be magic. Drop the fish. So the next time he changes his attack style, I'm going to put on melee prayer and then go and mage him. And then we got another mechanic here, memory game. And I do have the speed up mechanic, or the invocation on right now, so it's a little faster than normal, but it's still, it's still doable. There is some really sweaty way to do like, you do like something like this and you move here, cast, then you move like that. So he only attacks you like one time, or he attacks you not like zero times, something like that. But I don't know how to do that, so. If you came here to learn how to butterfly, I I offer my sincerest apologies. But uh, we'll learn that eventually. It's always nice to take zero damage from this. I reckon. This damage is looking nice, mate. So we got white lightning. We just go around in a big square here. Nothing to it. I think I was on... No, I was on magic. Was it magic and... Uh, ranged. Let's put this up there. Inventory's getting kind of cooked right now, but... This is going swimmingly, mate. Once he is done with this phase, he will... Or this health bar, rather. Oh my god. Got another memory game, mate. Pathetic. Think I'd ever get hit by that. So we just gotta punch him a couple times. And I will eat a little bit here, just in case I get blasted so this phase is notorious for everybody hating it understandably so nice zeros always love to see zeros it's fine dude it's fine I don't get hit by any of this stuff uh, so I don't really I can't really understand what people are so mad about but at the same time I, f I feel it um, so that's that fight pretty simple stuff. And then we go to the final of the four bosses, which is Baba, and arguably the worst room in the entire game, or entire raid, I guess, which is the, basically, if you've ever done Theater of Blood, it's that, but worse, maybe not worse, but let's see, I want to be... Um, something like this, I think. This is this is fine. The inventory gets all messed up because I need to be on like a variety of different combat styles and gear styles. But luckily, I still have my my boost, as you see here. It's like very very high stats. But the, the gist of this is you just want to kill all of the monkeys as fast as possible. And they all have different weaknesses to different attack styles, so you want to be switching your attack style a lot. Especially on higher invocations, these guys can just end your entire career. 
even even on this level it takes me a long time to do this room effectively and these ones just spread the poison everywhere and they don't help you at all and then you have to like fix the wall or put the poison gas down in the down in the vents This room is just like an unnecessary amount of supplies if you get chip damage and all that stuff. But I do have Blood Barrage. So I'm going to be stacking up the, um, the Thralls. So then they'll just be able to heal me later. So I don't have to really waste any, any Sharks or Mantis or Bruce. As you can see here, they're 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 piling up. Let's get a big heal here. Oof. Nice. That was a a glorious sound. Put my backpack on. There's also a lot of prayer wasted as well. Not run ending though, but it's good to do this room last. Cause then you have like the salts and restores from the first. What am I doing? This. Okay. Salts and restores from the first two bosses. This is going very swimmingly to be honest. Should I dodge these volatile ones? As I see my clan is just feeding relentlessly in the wilderness. You know, maybe uh gotta have an intervention with them. But anyways. Back to gaming. Let's stack them up. And we'll be soon out of here. I think that's all of them. Cool. That's probably my fastest clear of all time. Okay, so now this boss is quite easy compared to the room we just did with Akka. So we're just going to open my Oh hold on. Sit. I have to I have to tell people that my clan may die in the wilderness. Okay, so now we're gonna eat this eat the salts. Delicious. And I don't think I'll need any brews. I didn't even eat a brew last time in Akka, so that's good. Uh, I just wanna wanna poke this guy with the, the special attack of the bone dagger and then start start pumping. Uh, he'll drop these big boulders. And you just wanna make sure you're standing by one when he does his Rock throw attack, which is coming up right now. Big, big damage if you don't get hit by that with the with the rock nearby. He's about to run to the top. You want to switch on to your your uh, ranged gear. And there's a crack in the boulder that you need to shoot. Other ones will be almost invincible. And sometimes if you get a good pattern here, you can actually skip to the top, but it looks like... Wait, I killed that one? Huh? That's interesting. I'm actually stunned. I didn't know you could kill the non-cracked boulders. Uh, that's cool. Anyway, back to clicking on them. My chat box is being spammed by my my failed challenges. Oh well. Here it comes. Boom! And he's running back up there. Knocks me all the way down. Oh, I didn't go all the way down. Is that a new glitch, dude? I'm finding out new speedrun meta. Let's see if I can get this skip, dude. Oh, look at that. 
My inventory is literally everywhere. Let's move this and this and this. We'll dodge that. Hit him with a DDS. Huge! I'm gonna tank it. Okay, good. Well, I am quite strong, actually. So that was nice. Our supplies are looking very good right now. I didn't even drink a singular brew yet. Uh, so now I think we can just safely grab power for the adrenaline. And uh, head on into the final encounter. That's our time we're looking at here. Can't see it. 28 minutes, not bad. Probably not going to be a world record, but... It'll be a good record nonetheless. So I'm going to get out these. Put the adrenaline down there. I don't need the bone dagger anymore. Just so I don't misclick on it. I'm going to drop a fish. Click this guy. And instantly start hitting the obelisk. So this is a three part uh, battle. This is the first enemy basically. And then you'll fight one of two wardens. Depending on what side you disrupt the energy from, which is done by just standing on the side where all of it comes. And then this part, I'm going to switch really quickly, so I can still hit it. Oh, massive hits, dude. I'm going to take some intentional, unblockable damage here. That's okay. Dangerous orb coming in. Look out, guys. Boom. 28 big ones. Almost dead. That was a very spicy phase on the obelisk here. I'm just gonna eat some fish here. Get my get my health up. Uh, this guy has let me just rearrange my messy inventory here. Uh, this guy has like a stagger bar, kind of like... Uh, I don't know if there's a comparable enemy, actually. Anyways, he, he has this yellow bar that you fill up, and once it's filled, he will get knocked down, and his heart will come out. And once that happens, you can hit his heart with, I think, any combat style, but the way that is preferred and most popular is melee, because you can get really big damage on it. And the method I'll be using is the uh, the Dragon Dagger. But, um, you'll see that really soon. I'm about to pop my Liquid Adrenaline here. Put on all my goodies. Put on that. I think it's five specs here. Something like that. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then a smack of the dagger. Perfect. Or not the dagger. And then he'll go to range. And also, mad respect for the composer of this soundtrack. Probably one of my favorite songs in the entire game. Mr. Prey Flick, about to reset. Okay, and now we got another phase to hit him with the DDS. One, two, three, four, and then I think two smacks here, because I don't have any, any more special attack. I really don't know how you get more special. Maybe you need the ring. Oh, almost two down. I've never done that before. We're just gonna eat some, uh... Eat some of that, get my... Get my prayer back, get my inventory all situated. Okay. 
and just repeat and he'll die in one more quick knockdown here and use the withdraw all from my supplies so I can just have them all here uh, this this attack will freeze you in place so don't get hit by that I marked these two tiles here to simplify this phase at least as it is right now on this invocation level you can pretty much dodge everything if you understand these two tiles the way I have them set up and expert dodge right there and now we're gonna go in to slap them two quick ones and into the final battle we go so I'm gonna brew up and click on that just click on salts again get it out of my inventory and we will be mailing this guy actually I think so I do have the bofa I don't think it's better I have to run some numbers but it feels like the fang is just so consistent with the damage look at that look at that damage boys this is huge do I have my adrenaline potion still? I do. Yeah, so for this guy, you just have to dodge the tiles that he hits. Oh, here we go. Insanity practice. Nice job. Nice job. Let's drink liquid adrenaline, dude. Pump him. So the floor patterns that he does goes the same way every time. Oh, 84 attack! Dude, that got me hit! Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last time I raid about to get a level, dude. That, that's embarrassing. I can't believe I got damaged by the floor. I'll drink to that. Oh, we got insanity practice coming up. Beautiful. And now we got the crocodile back. You remember him? He's back. He's ready to mess up my entire run. Eight damage? This weapon sucks. Nine damage? This damage is actually crazy. He's getting melted. All right, insanity practice for the last time. Or er, no. Whew. So good. And now Baba is here. You can see he's throwing rocks at me. But, you know. We don't get hit by those. If I can bait him to put the rocks on the right or left side, that's best. So I don't want him on the uh, tiles that I'm doing attacks from, because that will get me hit. Alright, here we go. Last insanity. I'm dead. And that's why I don't do insanity, if you were wondering. <laughs> About to go into last stand mode in a second here. That's when it gets real crazy. Just got hit by that, embarrassing. And now he's just going berserk lighting up all these tiles. You just want to watch for the dark squares and also the falling rocks and also, also, this guy shooting stuff at you. So it's, it's kind of a hectic last fight, last phase, but just keep, keep your clicks calm and accurate and breathe and you'll You'll have him dead in no time. We 
We got a uh, purple coming up. I can feel it. Shot for the lightning. Got really lucky on this pattern here from Zebok. Just giving me the same thing every time. All right, and he's dead. Oh, look at that, boys. We got a new personal best as well from that run. I didn't know what my PB was before that. I probably should have checked. But I think it was something like 40 minutes, I think. But pretty happy with that run. I had plenty of supplies left over. But uh, anyway, now for the real juice. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we get a purple. Or if we're forever cursed. Ah, never lucky. Never lucky. Let's see what we get anyway. Oh, very nice. It's garbage. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. More raid content soon. Bye.